Good evening. I'm Erica Sargent. Joe Donlin is off. The mayor apologizing to the head of Chicago Public Schools for a campaign email now under investigation. As we first reported last night, that email sent to Chicago teachers asking students campaign to campaign and their get their help in exchange for class credit. CBS 2's Tara Molina joins us live. Tara, you were in the room when the mayor blamed a campaign worker for what she calls a clear mistake. Erica, a mistake I asked her about point blank and I had to follow up and ask her again because I heard her say sorry to the head of CPS. I heard her apologize to the Board of Education, but no apology to the people of Chicago that she represents. As soon as I learned about the outreach to the CPS teachers, um, we put a stop to it. Mayor Lori Lightfoot addressing this for the first time, a day after she says she first learned about it. Are you apologizing for this? I, I think we, I have apologized. I, I apologize to Pedro Martinez. I apologize to um, uh, uh, President Devalle. Um, this was a mistake. It should not have happened, period. You personally are apologizing for this. I just verbalized to you that it was a mistake. It should not happen. Here's what she says shouldn't have happened. The email sent to CPS teachers by a person who identifies themselves as a Lightfoot reelection campaign worker, asking those teachers to share the opportunity to work on the campaign with their students for class credit. Students who are, quote, eager to help Mayor Lightfoot win this spring. The mayor claiming that one campaign staffer she pointed to again and again used Google to find CPS teachers' email addresses. Um, and no city resources uh, were used. Questioned repeatedly on how one person could be behind something like this without her knowledge or anyone working for her campaign, Mayor Lightfoot maintained it was one person's mistake, a person she called a young female staffer who will not be fired. I have a lot of young women that work for me, um, certainly in my political campaign, but also um, in my administration. I think this is an important teachable moment for them. You may remember when the mayor first ran for election and campaigned on transparency, calling herself a reformer who wanted to change government here, going against the Chicago machine. I think the mandate's to clean up city government. Now this move is being called exactly that, an old Chicago style campaign practice. The mayor denied those claims today. She says her office continues to fight the machine. We're taking on those fights. We never shied away from them. Um, and none of, nothing that's happened in the last 24 hours that's been revealed has changed that one bit. The executive director of the ACLU, Illinois, sat down with me today before the mayor spoke out and called all of this a First Amendment concern, a legal and ethical concern. More from them on, on this story. It's up on our website right now. Reporting live outside City Hall, I'm Tara Molina. CBS 2 News. Okay, Tara, thank you. So who is looking into this? The CPS Inspector General is investigating. The city's Board of Ethics is set to review this later this month, and the city Inspector General is gathering information. We will stay on top of the story and keep you updated. See developments 24-7 on our digital streaming network, CBS News Chicago. Find us on the News and Opinion page on Pluto TV and through the CBS News app on Fire TV and Roku.